You look great, buddy. Uh, Thank everything you. going well? You too. Everything's great, yeah. Since, since is... you uh, last were on the show, you had another little baby. Congratulations. I did, yeah, baby Tiana. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. She's so cute. Look at this. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh. How, how old is she now? Well, right now she's she's 16 months old, um, and you know, just the love of my life. I have all daughters, which you do too. Yeah. Right, and there's nothing like it. Nothing like it. I love it so much. What are nothing they? What like are they into? It. What shows are they watching? Oh my gosh, we're big time into Peppa Pig. Oh yeah. Yes, they're into the Peppa Dude, Pig. Oh, um, they're obsessed. Um, Spirit the horse. Oh no. Spirit. I don't know. Oh, oh Spirit. Spirit. No, I don't know that Oh, one. we might have to educate Jimmy yeah. on that one. Yes. I have Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer, yes. Oh, man, that, sure. that will get real annoying. I can't wait. <laughs> yes. Yeah, get but ready for did, that. Do your daughters make you do the voices of, like, uh, uh, Papa Pig, Daddy Pig? Oh, your Grandpa, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's just snorting. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, <Constant>. hello. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's constant. Muddy puddles, muddy puddles. I'm like, all right, I can't take yes, it anymore. Muddy yes. puddles. I'm having nightmares about muddy puddles. Uh, I follow you on Instagram. I love you. It's a very good follow, by the way. Thank you. I follow you, too. Uh, oh, thank you. It's great. Yeah, you do it's everything. Crazy. You go hard. You go, do everything extreme. You go hard. Your workouts are amazing, and you put some of those on there. And then uh, I also, you also post your cheat meals. Yes. It's very important, the, the cheat meals. <laughs> but look at the, your cheat How do you look at you were into pancakes. <laughs> you, were into, you were big into pancakes. I'm into one. pancakes. I'm into sushi. And, oh, like right there. At the same time. That is sushi and pancakes. Yeah. Yes. Which uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that, but no. you got to give it a shot. What else? Ah, uh, yes. Even more sushi, sandwiches. Those are good looking sandwiches. Oh, it's the best, dude. And for me, I mean, cheat, the cheat meals, are, it's, like, it's like church. You know, it's like because you work out hard and once a week you yeah. treat yourself and, yeah. and then, you know, I, I partake in that. Yeah. And I just, I open my computer and I sit there. But here's the thing, I have to wait till everybody is asleep. That's the way I got to do it. I put the babies down to sleep, everyone goes to sleep, Lauren, everybody. So at like midnight. That's when you have your cheat meal? That's when I, yes. And I'm like a troll, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> open it up and what can I do? Oh, yeah. by myself. What can I yes. make? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just got back from uh, Hawaii. Uh, I did. Uh, and yes. you wanted to go there because you wanted to stop by the, uh, the protest over there. What, what was going on? Sure. So what's happening in Hawaii right now is um, there, there are protesters uh, on the big island uh, in Hilo. Um, and there's a mountain, uh, Mauna Kea. And Mauna Kea, some of you guys may know this, Mauna Kea is a sacred place. It's a sacred place to native Hawaiians. And there is a telescope that's being propositioned to be built there that's 18 stories, eventually it would be the size of a football stadium. And the issue that the native Hawaiians have is that it's sacred land. There was some trust that was, that was breached between them and the state and the people who are trying to build the telescope. And what I wanted to do was get my boots on the ground, go there personally, and uh, because I, I grew up in Hawaii, and, and I understand what it's like to have that sacred land. And when I was there, it was really a beautiful experience. It was so inspiring because you have men and women and children and elderly, uh, kapuna that we call them, who aren't leaving. And they are so steadfast and passionate about this land, about the sacredness of the land. So I joke that cheat meals were church, but the truth is, is this mountain is their church and it would be like building on their church. So I wanted to go get my boots on the ground there and speak to them directly, get a deeper dialogue with them. And then I realized something that the, this is so much bigger than a telescope being built. This is humanity. These are human beings whose hearts are hurting. And I think anytime situations like that come up, whether it's, and again, this, this is like a microcosm of the bigger thing all around the world is, or at least how I look at it when scenarios like this pop up, when you have human beings who are hurting, any culture around the world, that's our indication that we gotta stop. Let's be considerate, let's be empathetic, and let's always take care of our people. Because at the end of the day, it always comes down to that, taking care of the people. Yeah, take care of yourself. Good for you for doing that. I'm glad you did that. Thank you, Jimmy. It's on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.